and we're go. We've each got 15 minutes. We're going to start with up to three minutes for presentation. After that, it's the Q&A. We're going to start with San Juan, Puerto Rico. <coughs> Pablo Vasquez and Alyssa McCurzy are coming up to present along with... I've gotten before, uh, including questions I've gotten this weekend. No, you do not need a passport to travel to Puerto Rico. Um, <laughs> if, 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 if you're, you're now unlucky to be an American, you, you don't need a passport. Um, let me see. Um, oh yes, Zika. Uh, so there have been, of course, always some fears about Zika. Uh, according to the CDC, uh, the virus has pretty much succeeded. It's dead for the most part, and any airtime it got on television has been taken over by another American disease. But, um, <laughs> um, but uh, yes, uh, so no need to worry about that. Uh, if you still have any concerns, uh, the CDC has a great uh, website about uh, prevention techniques you can take, but Zika is mostly at a completely disappearing and critical level. And I know that was a lot of concerns that was brought up, not just this weekend, but throughout the entire process. Uh, as cycles of tropical diseases go, it's pretty much gone. Um, also, uh, I've, 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 well, that's time. So that's time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No problem. Um, we did have a question here about Zika, and I'd just like to follow up. I, I did look at the CDC website um, just the other day, and they're currently recommending that pregnant women do not go to Puerto Rico. Yeah. Okay. That, that, uh, that is because of the currently uh, there is currently scientific research being done as to whether the ties are connected uh, between uh, Zika and pregnant women uh, and the possibilities of infant uh, misshapen head. I forgot what the exact term is. Right. But, thank you. But uh, yes, uh, 
right now they do recommend uh, women, uh, pregnant women do not travel into Zika infested areas in the same way as one wouldn't travel into a malaria infested area or anything like that. But uh, San Juan, as the city proper, will not have much of this issue. If you choose to go into the rainforest areas of Puerto Rico, of course, take the proper precautions. Okay, thank you. Just before we go further, I want, in the interest of full disclosure, I have ties to both the NASVIC and the Helsinki City Convention, but we have less than a period who does not. And I I'm wearing my friends don't let friends when world can button. <laughs> totally <laughs> uninterested. And I, and I think you'll find I can be as, as tough on them as any other kids. So. All right. Um, somebody's considering attending the NASVIC, but they are concerned about the parent levels of crime in San Juan. According to their own research, they're saying it's nine times out of New York City and seven times out of Randall right? can't hear you. Sorry. Uh, they, they're concerned the crime levels are far higher than New York City or LA, and especially given that most of the hotels are some distance from the convention center. What sort of advanced information will North America on 17 be putting out so that attendees can be well informed and prepared for safe convention experience? Of course, of course. Uh, we'll be putting out, you know, uh, usual uh, safety tips and techniques. In regards to the crime rate, uh, we are currently in Chicago, and the previous aspect was in Detroit. So, I mean, for well-known international crime levels. But uh, let me assure you that we will keep you safe. Uh, San Juan is, especially since we're going to be pretty much in the, uh, what would be considered the tourism center of uh, uh, San Juan, you're not going to experience, say, if you go into, uh, you know, the the more crime areas of San Juan are more like the barrios, the off in the distance sort of barrios. Uh, you're not going to experience those unless you throw yourself into somewhere you shouldn't be, honestly. But uh, otherwise, uh, we are going to take any proper procedures we need to, and we are going to inform you on the best ways and tips to have a friendly and happy dance And the convention center is the hotel. What? Huh? What? They asked about distance. It is in the hotel. Yeah, it's. The convention is all on one floor of the hotel. We're not using a separate facility. Yeah, there is no separate facility. So you're saying this, the premise of the question was incorrect, that there isn't a big distance between the hotel and the convention? Oh, no, absolutely okay. not. It is literally the same place. Yep. Great. <laughs> um, we have a question here about family membership rates. Um, have you established family membership rates? And would that include child care? If so, how much? Uh, it's a little bit early to discuss uh, in regards to uh, specifics regarding childcare, but we are looking into uh, different childcare providers uh, that, that work with the hotel and uh, with uh, the tourism board and whatnot. So we will uh, be having more information about that in regards to family rates. Uh, we currently have no plans to institute a family rate, uh, but our current rates are currently a full attending membership at 100. Uh, if uh, you're below the age of 25 or live in one of the surrounding countries of the Caribbean or on Puerto Rico, uh, that would be 50 and uh, a supporting membership is $35. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, what are the requirements for using organized labor other than like for a decorator or forklift driver and how are those going to impact your cost and budget and setting up for the convention? Could you rephrase that a little bit? Or do you have any labor costs you're going to be hit with, like union costs, or is the hotel going to charge you exorbitant fees for setup of table or moving in cargo, that sort of thing? Not currently that we know of, no. Uh, and also, um, my own feelings about it aside, Puerto Rico is pretty much not unionized. So uh, that will not be much of an issue, and there, uh, there are no extra costs or hidden fees associated with uh, anything relating to set up at the hotel. Um, we've got a nice question here. What is the biggest hurdle your convention is currently facing and how can this community best help you over it? Volunteer. <laughs> Come be staff for uh, North America on 17. We would love you there. This is an entire convention of people who can't say no. So I hope you say yes to me. <laughs> Oh, it is a threat, so. <laughs> okay, similar to the question I just asked you about the labor cost, are you stuck with any exclusive providers for internet, audiovisual, drayage, rigging, any of those other kind of services? 
Warren, what would you say? Uh, there are some preferred partners with the hotel. Uh, their rates are more in line than two standards. Yeah. Uh, for anyone that didn't hear Warren, uh, there are some preferred partners we work with with the hotel. Warren's our facility is DH, but uh, uh, that do work with the hotel, uh, but they're all industry standard costs. Okay, is there anything preventing not using one of their preferred providers? Just. Um, I gotta look at the AV. I think we may be stuck on the AV. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I think I know for sure that we are stuck on the AV. We bring in our own tech, but it's on the island. We're probably using their tech. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Do we have any, any questions from the audience? Come. Okay, another question about the facilities. Um, how about the situation with um, Wi-Fi? Is it provided by the facility free or charged? Is there a bandwidth limit? Um, and also package handling. Are there any um, support for package handling services? In regards to the Wi-Fi, I believe it's complimentary. Um, we have complimentary Wi-Fi. I'm not familiar with the bandwidth limit. Warren, do you know the bandwidth limit? Yeah, we, we have not been provided with a bandwidth limit, but we will check on that uh, if that is of interest to folks for sure. And uh, in regards to, what was the other half? Uh, package, package services, drainage. Um, no, no. Get a package, 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 package handling, handling, like if someone needs a package delivered to the hotel. Yes. Are just, they going to charge some exorbitant rate for that? Um, well, it, it will be basically any the same charge you would get as uh, shipping it to a Sheraton here in the States. Uh, in regards to how the hotel will charge for that. That varies from zero to ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. There's no standard. Or the, the czars have any particular standard with that? I'm not remembering that. Yeah, I, we didn't get any, uh, and we've, we've asked about that, and they didn't give us any sort of charge. That may, that may be something we work with the, 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 the as well. Yeah. yeah. Given recent political turmoil, President Trump aside, but also Brexit and the possibility of bankruptcy for Puerto Rico. Are you expecting any kind of fallout that's going to impact the convention? And so do you have a contingency plan for it? We plan uh, to be as friendly and as welcoming as possible as our community usually is. And uh, I have received uh, messages from folks in the surrounding Caribbean nations uh, a bit afraid themselves to come to anything in the States because of the recent political situation. However, I have assured them uh, that uh, fandom, wherever we are, is not our governments. And uh, we are welcoming, accepting, all fans are more than welcome at our conventions. And we, if need, if need be, we will put this on paper on the website, wherever. I will make a video, just anything, uh, to let them know the fact that I already know that uh, anyone's welcome. So, yes. In regards to the uh, bankruptcy situation, um, I can assure you that it is not going to affect the convention itself um, in a very selfish sort of way. That just might mean some things are cheaper on the island. <coughs> is UPS hold for pickup an option for artists and viewers? Like shipping stuff from via UPS to be held for the artist to be able to pick it up when they arrive. Yes, yes. Uh, all major shipping services ship to Puerto Rico, um, and so if if you want, uh, any of the offices there can hold your items uh, to be picked up when they arrive. Do you have any information about electrical power costs? If a dealer's coming in and needs to hook up, it's, do you know what that would cost? Yeah, we're not being charged at all by the facility in regards to electrical power costs. Okay. So um, we can give you, uh, we're we've exhausted our questions. You guys are falling down on the job. If you'd like to make a final statement, about a minute and a half left. Sorry. Sure. Uh, wait, did you have a question? I have a question before we state a statement. Meg, Meg over there is my publication <laughs> page, so. We appreciate all the questions that you have, uh, that you've asked us. Uh, for those that we did not know the answers to, our product report one is coming out, hopefully by the end of the year, possibly the end of the year. Um, and holidays, uh, but we will endeavor to include the question, like include clearer answers to these questions in our progress report one. Yes, I was going to make everyone aware that the progress report is uh, planning to come out most likely in January, and uh, also uh, sometime in late January is when uh, we will also have our uh, our next possible rate rise. So if you're still doing uh, conversions, 
Uh, I know we sent out some emails. We're going to send another email that makes the conversion statement clearer on what you need to do to convert from uh, voting, supporting, what have you, over to full attending. So we'll send those out, and uh, you'll be able to do that until the end of the year. And one more question, which you're probably not going to the answer to, but can go on to the list of things you'll update in the PR on the website, is where is the nearest UPS site to the hotel? Uh, actually, um, the nearest UPS site would probably be in Condado. Uh, so the neighborhood we're in is called the Distrito de Convenciones, which is the convention district. Um, and so the neighborhood that surrounds that is called Condado, which is the neighborhood right outside of historic San Juan. Uh, which means it would be anywhere between a five to ten minute driving vicinity and anywhere between a 30 minute to an hour walk uh, to get to the nearest UPS store likely. Okay, that wraps it for Pablo and the Maspic presentation. Thank you so much.